Hey there, it's John here from Userback, and I'm excited to share with you some updates we've made to the Userback widget, including some user experience tweaks to make it even easier for your clients to submit visual feedback on your websites and apps. So let's go ahead and click the feedback button and show you the fresh new modern look that we've given to the Userback widget. When I click draw on the screen, you may notice that we've also added the ability to select a color directly from the toolbar for your annotation tools. So now uh, the same functionality of clicking and dragging to annotate and just a single click to add a pinned comment. Uh, one thing you may have noticed is that the pinned comment can now exist inside the annotation itself. Everything else functions exactly the same as it used to, so your clients should be familiar with this. When I click next, we've also now updated the feedback form to allow you to add a short and long custom field. So a text box and a comment box for you to add onto your feedback forms, as well as improving the indicator of the screenshots that have been added to the feedback. So you can easily see now that there is one screenshot added to this feedback and you can click the plus button to add further screenshots or click delete to remove them. As I go back into the feedback selection menu, you can also see that we've brought forward the view existing feedback so that you can easily click through to see what other feedback has been submitted on this page. We've increased the size of the thumbnails on this menu and also add the ability to filter through the types of feedback that have been collected, including screenshots, video, and general feedback, and also allow you to filter the feedback that's been collected on this specific page. So if you'd like to uh, limit all of the feedback in the project to this page only, uh, you can easily do that from this filtering menu. Some of the other changes that have been made to the user back widget include the general feedback option where we've split the star rating and the feedback form into two steps. First, users will select the star rating and from there fill out the feedback form where they can still add a screenshot, they can still add video and still attach a file if they need to. Of course, if these options have been added to the feedback form. I'd like to now show you what that looks like inside your user back account. So if we head to the widget menu, the main update to the widget menu is within the feedback form itself, where if you have the custom field enabled, you can now select from the short answer and the long answer option. You'll simply type a label for the custom field and that label is reflected within the feedback itself. If I select the feedback now and we go to the session info tab. You can see that this uh, information is now shown in the session info tab. So those are the updates that we've made to the user back widget, including the user experience updates to make it easier for your clients to submit visual feedback. Thank you, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to us at any stage. We are more than happy to help.